Well, greetings, church. Pastor Jonah Khoosan here. Great to be with you again. Are you ready, church, to be discipled by the living word of God? And we're going to continue, and it's a final installment on trust. And I hope that you've really been enjoying it, as I have. And uh, it's really it's really great to break bread together, isn't it, church? And just read some of the wonderful promises that God has in store for us in His Word. And isn't the Word of God just phenomenal? Isn't it great to be able to read His Word? And so, church, why don't you turn to Psalm 131, and we'll be reading verses 1 through to 2. We'll touch on Proverbs 3, 5 a little later. Psalm 131, verses 1 to 2. Let's pray, shall we? Then we'll get into the Word. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can come before you in all humility, that we can seek your face, that we can know that, Lord, we are not God, but that you are God, and that the things that, that overwhelm us and that seem impossible for us are not for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would, would be our counselor, our God. And we pray your anointing over this word in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Right, Church, Psalm 131, verses 1 through to 2 in the New King James Version. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I concern myself with great matters, nor with things too profound for me. Surely I have calmed and quietened my soul. Like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. Church David, David had so much going for him. He was the king of Israel. When Israel was at its peak, he was a brilliant general. He was a courageous warrior. He was a gifted musician. He was a songwriter. And, and he was enormously wealthy and powerful. Wow, those are all things that in today's terms would make him a really influential individual, isn't it? And David was that. And yet, David had a profound humility before God. He had, he had this soul deep sense of humility. And David had, had like a childlike trust before the Lord. And I believe part of David's humility and part of David's childlike trust was to admit this. Lord, some things are beyond me. Lord, some things are above me. Lord, some things are too big for me. They're too hard for me, Lord. Lord, Father, there's so much I do not understand. And I cannot understand. But Lord, you are so big. Lord, you are so vast. Lord, you are so immense. How could I, a mere mortal, Think that I could understand all that you do. Church, is that where you find yourself with God? Or do you find yourself trusting in yourself? The truth is, church, there is just so much we cannot fully understand about God. The Trinity. We have, we have some knowledge, but we don't fully understand it. That Jesus is fully God and fully man. Free will of man. Man's been struggling with that truth for so long. Suffering of, of children and babies. The holy wars in the Old Testament. And then this reality of hell. Just to name a few, so many people struggle with it. Perhaps what is even harder to understand is, is our own pain and our suffering in an unfair world. But I want to tell you today, church, it's, it's okay. It's alright. It's okay to ask God the hard questions. But we should not assume 
that we will get answers to all our questions on this side of, of heaven. You see, church, part of our faith journey is to trust God when we don't have answers and when we lack understanding. Let me repeat that for us because it's a, it's a vital truth. Part of our faith journey is to trust God when we don't have the answers and when we lack understanding. Proverbs 3 verse 5 tells us very clearly, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. David Church had enough humility to recognize that God was so vast that he could not possibly understand everything about him. Do you understand that God is so vast, church, that you, you cannot understand everything about him? David had enough humility to admit God is God and I am not. God is God and I am not. David had enough humility to trust God in the face of all of life's pains and, and blown away misunderstandings or, or things that don't make sense. What about you? Are you willing to trust in the Lord? I close with Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Father, that's our prayer for our lives. May we trust in you with all our heart, Lord. And Father, may we not lean on our own understanding, we pray. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, church. I trust that you are really ready to place all your trust in God. God bless you, God keep you, God turn his face towards you and grant you his glorious peace. Have a fantastic day.